You know who I am. I'm Joe, and this is Next Level Bullshit. Well, look at this, another episode for season three. We're on quite the roll. Not long ago, we did a flame magnet episode on detoxing. Now, we're taking on organic food and squeezing out all the bullshit. So flame on. Organic has become synonymous with luxury, and I'm better than you. Organic food prices on average are nearly 50% more than their conventional counterparts. Not all items are marked up this bad though. Carrots, for instance, are usually 23% higher and in some rare instances, like honey, organic is usually the cheaper option. But because it's more expensive, it doesn't necessarily mean better. Studies have proven organic is not as healthy as you'd expect. In the 2009 meta-study, which is a study of studies, nutritional quality of organic foods, the results say conventionally produced crops had a significantly higher content of nitrogen and organically produced crops had a significantly higher content of phosphorus and higher titratable acidity. Further proven in a 2012 study, the published literature lacks strong evidence that organic foods are significantly more nutritious than conventional foods. Consumption of organic foods may reduce exposure to pesticide residues and antibiotic resistant bacteria. Well, less antibiotic resistant bacteria is definitely a plus for organic. A 2014 study in the British Journal of Medicine concluded nearly the same. Organic crops on average have higher concentrations of antioxidants and a lower incidence of pesticide residues than the non-organic comparators. Studies have also shown that organic isn't really better for the environment either. In a 2010 report, organic pesticide, not always greener choice. It's too simplistic to say that because it's organic, it's better for the environment. Organic growers are permitted to use pesticides that are of natural origin. And in some cases, these organic pesticides can have higher environmental impacts than synthetic pesticides, often because they have to be used in large doses. It has also been shown in studies that organic yields nearly 25% less crop. Our analysis of available data shows that overall organic yields are typically lower than conventional yields. Now, when it comes to organic food, people will say things like, I can really feel the difference, or I can really taste the difference. And that may be because of the placebo effect. You've already convinced yourself that the extra cost for the superior product will be better for you. Allow me to show you the milkshake study. Aliyah Crum, a clinical psychologist who does research at Columbia Business School in New York, has spent years studying the placebo effect, culminating into this 2011 study, Mind Over Milkshakes, Mindsets, Not Just Nutrients. With a fresh batch of French vanilla milkshake, crumbs split into two batches that were labeled in very different ways. One was labeled as 0% fat, zero added sugar, and only 140 calories. The other was labeled as indulgent, with 620 calories. The result? Mindset meaningfully affects physiological responses to food. Ghrelin, a hormone secreted in your gut, signals the brain that it's time to find some food. Eat a small salad for lunch, your ghrelin levels won't drop much. But eat a bacon cheeseburger with fries and your ghrelin levels drop, signaling a ramp up on your metabolism. The ghrelin levels dropped about three times more when people were consuming the indulgent shake or thought they were consuming the indulgent shake compared to the people who drank the sensible shake or that's what they thought they were drinking. Surely though, they'll be able to taste the difference? <laughs> nope. This study, how the placebo effect changes perception of organic and non-organic food, concluded with, subjects were unable to reliably distinguish organic from non-organic foods when they were not labeled. However, Labeling a food as organic yielded improved taste perception, regardless of its true identity. So, in conclusion, wash your fruits and vegetables a bit better and maybe eat two apples instead of one for those extra antioxidants. And there you have it, another episode for season three from YouTube New York. How do you feel about organic food? Sound off in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button now. Also. Follow us on Twitter for up-to-date information about our filming and where to find us on our On The Street segments. And if you have an idea for an episode, you can email me anytime at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. 
That's all for today. Thanks for watching.